Hey there everyone, welcome back. So Lexi Mary commented saying you need to make a video of your paranormal experiences. Years ago I used to watch shows like that, but none of them convinced me. Sure, I can do that, no problem. This is the crazy thing is I actually got photos to back up my story, kind of like evidence as you can see here. So anyways, let's get into it. So I guess my first two experiences with ghosts or paranormal activity was I just home by myself, casually just doing what I'm normally doing, and I just hear a woman's voice call for my name. Just chat. So I leave my room, go look to see if my mom's home, realize quickly nobody's home, I'm by myself, and I'm like, okay, that's kind of odd and weird, because I know I definitely heard my voice. And that's happened on two separate occasions when I was at this house by myself. So yeah, I just heard some woman's voice call out Chad, just kind of went around, looked, didn't see anyone, called out for my mom, realized nobody was there, and was kind of like, okay, that's kind of weird, and just went back to my room and just went back to doing what I was doing. Now the third incident is actually pretty intense. So I was laying on my bed with the lights on and I was just passing out. So my eyes were just about to like close and I was just dozing off. And then all of a sudden I felt something smack me in the face. That's right, I actually felt a hand smack me in the face and I actually felt like the actual handprint afterwards it was insane i like was laying there just about to pass out and then all of a sudden boom something smacked me and i got up instantly looked around and i was like what the heck i could still feel the hand like on my face like where it smacked me um i looked i thought it was maybe my sister at the time when she was living here uh she wasn't in my room the lights were on my door was closed i opened up the door went to go check on her her door was closed, she was sleeping, passed out, I clicked her in the leg, like the foot, like wake up, didn't even budge, so I was like, okay, that's weird, went to go check on my parents, they were sleeping, and I was like, that's kind of odd, like, why would my parents smack me in the face and run away, so I was like, nah, it couldn't have been them, like, that, that would just be, like, nonsense, so then I went into the bathroom to check my face, in the mirror, I couldn't see, like, a handprint or nothing, but it was weird, because I could still feel where some like a hand smacked me and then i just kind of like went back to my room and i had the light on and yeah i was like kind of scared couldn't go back to sleep for a while and eventually you know just kind of like trying to forget about it I, I just went back to sleep that was one of the most intense and craziest experiences because i actually felt something like smack me and i could feel the handprint there is a possibility that maybe when i was passing out i smacked myself and woke up but i don't understand why or how i'd be passing out and then smack myself in the face and wake up um it is it is a possibility i've never done that before in my life so i don't know it led me to believe that it was something else because i was laying there with my eyes just like you know like you know you can still see a little bit but you're kind of passing out so i don't know there's a chance that i smack myself but i i I believe that it was something else. And my fourth experience was with my ex-girlfriend Vicky and Chomper and that was pretty crazy. So my ex-girlfriend at the time, Vicky, wanted to go to the graveyard and the funeral home and like take photos because she was like into like paranormal activity and ghosts, which was really cool. So we ended up going to the graveyard at like 3 a.m., okay? <laughs> and I took Chomper along and we're taking photos and like all the photos, there's like orbs and it was crazy because we took photos elsewhere, there was no orbs. We went to the funeral home, there was a couple orbs. But anyways, when we were at the graveyard, there was tons of orbs orbs in different colors, red, all sorts, some look like demonic, it was, it was nuts, but Chomper started going like berserk, like he just started like out of nowhere, just sitting there barking, and no matter what I could do, he just kept barking, so I decided to take a photo of him barking, and then this showed up in the image, as you can see here, it's like an orb of some sort, and as you can see, it's like right next to him. I have no idea what it is, but if you zoom in on the photo, as you can see here, um, it's got like lines and like kind of like a, like, I don't know, like an, a circle around it, like an aura. I don't know, it's just really crazy. And that was my fourth experience. 
So yeah, those were my experiences with ghosts or paranormal that I can remember so far. I'm pretty sure I had some when I was younger, but I forgot about them. You know, when you're younger, aliens and ghosts kind of scare you, but when you get older, you kind of try to like learn more and, you know, try to embrace the experiences. If all of you want me to go back to the graveyard at like 12 midnight or 3 a.m. with Chomper and take photos or videos again and see if I can get some orbs to appear or whatnot, let me know in the comments below. Please like this video and share with your friends and family because if we can get a bunch of likes comments and more people to subscribe then i'll definitely go out and do that that'd be awesome yeah just click that subscribe button down there it just takes two seconds and it helps me out a lot and it's free and i really appreciate it so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments below i just wanted to share this with all of you because uh lexi asked for me to share my experiences with all of you so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions uh, about my experiences what you think about it um i'm being honest and truthful this is what i actually experienced uh let me know what you've experienced if you've experienced anything and i'll respond back and check it out i do believe that there's a bunch of paranormal and stuff going on that we can't even explain Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all. Take care and peace out.